Hello everyone, this is Yonex and welcome back to another episode of SimCity 4. Unfortunately, like last episode, I had to record my audio after my recording. So I will do it again. For this episode, I will uh, work on uh, building my first residential area. And I have decided to change the roundabout in a smaller roundabout which you can build with a road like this and therefore I'm gonna remove the avenue roundabout it means I also don't need the network widening mod pieces for the avenue and can just use roads so now let's find a nice place to build this roundabout Um, for the roundabout, I probably will move my entrance to the highway one tell away, since that's it's better in this case. And I will connect the entrance and exit of the highway to the directly to the road and not to the roundabout to make it uh, better fitting. Although it doesn't look really nice lined up at the moment. And yeah. The MIS doesn't really connect nice to the road roundabout. So I have to connect it to the road. And I prefer to have the road kind of in one line. So I'm moving the roundabout like this and now I connect the uh, MIS uh, or the entrance to the highway at the other point just after the roundabout it will mean I have to do the same on the other side in the future as well so while I'm doing this I would like to explain to you guys that after for the next episode the sound will be normally again as normal is so that's a good thing because uh, it's unfortunate that i have to put in a lot of extra work just to get the sound right again and it's really uh, for my feeling a bit harder So we have a road to the top again. Now we don't need a roundabout which we used to test anymore or the avenue with the network my uh, widening pieces. So I hope this will be an, uh, for the rest of enjoying episodes since we finally gonna work on some residential zones and trying to make this uh, look like a nice neighborhood but for that I first want to get out my main roads I leave the rail in for now but probably will move it since it's a bit in a way uh, I like to use the streets to create like nice neighborhood these streets but we first built a roundabout and then connect the street from the roundabout. And then we go diagonal from the corner. That didn't go as I wanted since I wanted to put a smooth curve like that. And another small curve, and then it glitched out. So that means our corner we made is a little too small. It would be possible if I use a 19 degrees puzzle piece, but it's still unfortunate. So smooth like that. And 
And then we can connect it to the main road. I would like by using the streets, it's in my feeling much nicer to create like a nice neighborhood. So that's good. Now we have a nice more S-like curve. Street will continue a little bit because there's still enough space to get some more houses in. And cul de sac on the end, of course. Uh, we have in the middle still some open space, so let's build some more streets there. Go diagonal again, just to give it a bit more um, character. This curve is too small again as well, or too close on each other, both curves, because a glitch start. So we have to redo it. And then we redo it from the other side. Just to, for my feeling, it's easier. And now we have only one road piece there. But now it looks good. Then we start some zoning. <coughs> Sorry for that. By holding shift, you get um, rid of the streets, which it puts in between. I'm trying to make most houses a bit too wide some three and some one. Um, I keep the main roads clear from housing because I don't know. In my feeling, it looks way nicer if you create like a nice neighborhood and then don't connect it like that. And there uh, we have one spot left and there as well. Some I will use for bus stops later, but some will stay, of course. So, yeah, I think it gives some more character this way to the neighborhood. Let me know what you guys think about it. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, dry throat a little. So, yeah, we have a little bit space left in the middle, which we can fill up with trees later. Now we have this end part. Let's see, fill up with more houses. Well, zoning first before the house is built. Yeah, I don't want to go too close to the highway, um, to the highway, so I leave some space and don't make it like full size uh, residential zones there. So we can later on fill the rest with the roads again. And then fill it up with trees again, like we did with our highway. We use the same trees and beaches. And we pretty much place them around our neighborhood and around our next to the roads. So to give it also a bit this give it a bit of green town city feeling yeah we probably won't build too much next to the small roundabout so i'm not really completely happy with some of my trees because they are going over the highway or over the road so I remove them a bit and then I will replace them again. I think it uh, looks better like that. I will put some highway walls next to it in the future, but we have to see how much space and there is for it in the future. Um, with some residential zones, we also need uh, commercial zones, which we will build that we will connect to the road. Since I think you need some uh, higher amount of cars going to the shop and have some better roads. Yeah, I connected to the roundabout and then I thought, mm, no, 
that's not how I want it. So I just pretty much look how it is with residential. But I don't like it either. Who wants to live next to the roundabout where it's quite some traffic going by? So I'm looking now for a nice statue or something in the park menu or and meanwhile you can take a look at the mods I have installed quite some highway walls or parks kennels I will gonna make use of kennels in the future I don't know if I will do it in this city or in a neighboring city but I will make use of it So a placebo or garden house or how you want to call it. And it's always good for demand and it looks nice. And this is like a nice one one spot where it fits nicely. So th those are the highway walls I will use for next to the highway. And I'm just looking for stuff in the menu. So meanwhile I have to scroll by all the mods. It's not really really convenient how it's laid out in the UI for SimCity 4. But it works. And that's what the most what's the most important. But actually I needed a bus stop. Which is more on the top. So the bus will go through the neighborhood and then they need a connection. And a bit in the middle, but next to the placebo is a nice spot. The residential zone is now aligning to the wrong way, so I need to fix that later. And we need more places for bus stops since one bus stop, yeah, that's just not gonna do it. But the neighborhood isn't that big, so people should be able to walk. Uh, we want one bus stop next to our commercial zone, but that one is aligned the wrong way. So let's redo it. And then in the general area down, I will put more bus stops, but for now I need to zone there more. So, because I didn't really like it, I'm just filling up with trees for now. And also at the back of the commercial shops. Could have decided to build it close to the highway, but eh, no point. I want to keep have it look nice as well. So, since uh, the railway was in the way, I need to replace it and I need want to get it elevated. So, I need to find the right uh, vessel pieces to build the railway elevated. And once I have now selected our uh, the bus piece for over the real highway. Make sure the yellow is on the inside. Otherwise it doesn't fit uh, texture. I was thinking to find a railway piece over blank terrain. But I can't find it. Because then we have an elevated piece which where the train can come from. And then it go, goes from ground floor to the first level. And I don't want to use the same piece on the other side. And the only piece with blank terrain, uh, real of blank terrain I found is with a switch on it, which I actually don't want. But we want to keep the rail on this side um, elevated, so it goes pretty much that to the neighboring city. 
And I think it also splits up the neighborhood nicely. And then we can put a rural trail stage, uh, train station at it. So this is the slope piece, straight trail slope. But to make use of it, we need to um, Yeah, all the blank terrain pieces I found uh, the wrong ones. So we probably won't use them. But to keep it elevated, I think the probably the best solution is to increase the the ground uh, height. Because I can drag it like that, and if I drag it, just place it, it will stay on ground floor. So we need to level it. And I don't want to make use of monorails or uh, things like that. So we're going to level it 50 meters like always. I don't know why we even have most of the other heights, but in general you only use 7.5 or 15. And I believe you use a bit more if you build a bridge over the water. So in this case I'm not going to put like one road place. I won't leave it since I want to connect the rail pretty much directly. And there uh, won't be anything next to the highway there anyway. So there's no point to it. So now we need a slope piece. This is quite far in the menu. So now we have a slope piece, but as you can see, we're using the zero instead of the straight one. This is actually the wrong one. Because then you have to pretty much connect our roads and then you have like a crossing. Uh, on this side, we also need to increase the height so we raise the terrain again and then place roads to increase the rest pretty much until the road we can remove the roads again and then we need one more piece to get it matching to the road and to the other side and then we need uh, slow pieces again. So all the way through the menu again. Yeah, that's one thing I would like to see improved on Sims 34. A better UI with better placement for mods. But I would like also to see if people work on mod packages. Because at the moment there's only one big mod package, which is the NAM. Which includes quite some mods. But for the rest, it's all, yeah, all mods you have to install separately, which is a lot of work, especially for people who have even more mods than me, because I have like one, two gig, and people who really play with much more with modded stuff have easily four or more gig on stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to use the blank terrain, so I'm just going to connect it there. So now we need the straight slope piece and not the T slope piece. So we don't get the intersection with the road. Like that. Uh, 
and I think because of the rail already lowered the, uh, there's a road still it is in the way and that's because of the T rail it was there so yeah I will move the railway state from there and then connect it to the rest and then I can remove all the rest since I won't need that anymore unfortunately if you remove the last corner piece sometimes the corner will be removed so in that case I can just connect it a bit later up and probably build here some train station a bigger train station so and then connect all the railways nope not like this but yeah we'll work on that in the future like I said in a previous episode it's just a guideline where I place them and I'm still gonna move them around a lot just to what fits for the map or city so we now have our height piece with our blank terrain in between and now we need our slope piece again the straight row like this and then we need to ha um, higher the level of that part we can we don't need to rail there anymore you can turn your buildings or roads or direction by using home and end yeah both work fine but one is clockwise and the other one is anti-clockwise and we make a inter network connection here with the neighboring city and uh, maybe it's nice looking if i built a double track so now we can put our slope piece again since it's leveled now So straight through. Then some real way to connect it all up. And that's me, I don't we didn't connect that piece. And it still doesn't want to connect. So let's just make our network connection first. I will look at it in a moment. So maybe it looks nice to have a trail next to it. But that corner doesn't fit. As it should. And that doesn't work either. So let's just remove it. And make it the same level again. We don't need to connect to the neighbor since we removed the road anyway we just use it to level it to our terrain we work on some tunnels later but this is not tunnel so we won't use that one so yeah it's still not connected and also not to like that and on that side it connects fine so maybe there's a piece missing so let's just rebuild it and see if that works and we can't connect that one either maybe it's not on level then let's just rebuild it all and see if that uh, works so we need to straight slope again but since we had the uh, real over rope pieces meanwhile anyway let's just uh, place them we need them anyway and then we can continue 
tapping through the menu you use tap to uh, go through the menu i believe it's shift tap to go back in the menu but problem with that is it also shows your steam overlay so you don't really want to show so now it's finally connected i think the end pieces of the slope i removed those and that's why i didn't connect it but i'm not sure about it so let's put some more zoning until the end but actually i'm thinking to build a road from that side to the other side and then we can have an extra little neighborhood and connect these up and then let's continue where we left off go diagonal from there and then we try to make a Y like this and that's not a smooth curve so we remove it and we redo it and we copy it partly on the other side and that's like the backyard of the commercial part and then we make another connection there so they have more options the road is a bit hobbly i will fix that in the future mm, this doesn't look good So let's find a new spot where we can do that for. Well, let's just zone first and see what's left. If we really need to do it. Like I said, I won't connect next to the road. So I think it's nice to keep like traffic off the main road in that way. Or keep the traffic on the main road and not have people going to the houses there but let them go really into the neighborhood so I can put this all the different directions yeah uh, I'm trying to move this one on the right side but it wants to show the rest which I don't need so decided not to we have a few houses on the back of the commercial but that's fine and now we fill up the borders or next to the main road with trees i always play the trees first since when you put them on residential zone and when the house builds there the tree will just disappear but you just so it's a bit easier to uh, over put some trees they will be get removed anyway then we need to connect it with some water for water you can it fills from the pipe it's six um, tiles away from both sides so let's just move it up since we really will need water in this area anyway in future and all the reason is I want to connect it to the neighbor and I always in general use the same spot to connect it always in the corners and I will connect it with all cities in future so now I'm counting to get the exact since there's maintenance for a pipe so how more efficient you are the less maintenance you of course will pay per household or how you want to call it and then we connect it with the rest of the pipes
next to the water we need a water tower or next to the water pipes which since there's nice some open space here left let's just put it there connect it to the water line right away then we need power to connect the water of course and but also the residential these are our walls we probably will use it for next to the railway i think it looks nice but we don't need them now we just need power we have gas coals and oil uh, available at the moment uh coal is by far the most efficient and cheapest one to use it's not the best for the air but uh we work on that later it's, we need first to get the city started and then we can improve the quality of life if you place the um, and then it, and it's the factory um, next to the border you give the neighboring city also partly uh, the bad air from it so it won't all come in your city but you share, share it that way in the region a bit and get rid of it here So we want to have a little neighborhood here too. So we put some streets where the other streets end. Make it a nice smooth curve, go dia uh, diagonal. Smooth curve again and connect it up. Uh, these are on the now look. It's just one roundabout on the end is perfectly fine. And then we can zone it. I'm gonna zone it just to the neighborhood. Uh, I'm gonna try to let it match on the other side. Which is not super easy, but uh, we see what we can do. Otherwise we put some trees on the other side in the next city. Just to make it nice matching and looking a nice neighbor region overview so once again with this roundabout we only put one tail so otherwise we get too close to the highway and i don't want houses next to the highway i want some barrier in between of at least trees and later on probably highway walls so from the roads perspective it's quite green which is nice. People have uh, can have a uh, nice living here. I think it uh, will look quite green, which is good. Here are a few to less trees, open spots. So fill them up. We uh, will have an uh, overcrossing here. As you can see, the top road is not matching the bottom one. Because that wouldn't uh, have left any space if I used the top one. So for the power to connect to our neighborhood, we need some power lines. Unfortunately, we can't connect it directly like that. So we need next to it, go for our highway, our avenue and highway. So... That should be connected for the whole neighborhood. So this is what it looks from the top view. So now we build some uh, more of the neighborhood. We can place some more bus stops. And I like to use them on the one spots which are pretty much fillers. And to give the bus like a nice track. That would be a nice spot. That's too close to the other bus stop. I try to um, divide the bus stops a bit so it's not all too close. The street uh, 
perfect gone again. So uh, let's reboot it. So this is our how our neighborhood looks. Let's play it and see how it develops. Seems uh, houses are growing quite uh, rapidly already. Also some commercial. There's quite an industrial demand, but uh, we don't didn't build any industrial yet. So we see the first traffic already going to a little town. So on this side of the railway we will also make some uh, railway station and then connect the neighborhood up. So the people are connected to the public transport in a good way. Next to the train station we will put probably a bus stop so people can take the bus and go to the train station. As you can see we only have um, demand for rich people but now suddenly it popped up for the rest too. We have a big demand for industry but we work on that in the future. So uh, let's grow it a little more. It's still developing and it looks so much better developed. So I uh, hope you all like the progress so, uh, so far we made. With the intersection in new neighborhood, the to make neighborhood. Yeah, we changed the rail station and the rails in future. Yeah. We have planted quite some trees. Looks quite green from the top view already, which is good. I like it. I probably will use more wind energy in future and on the hill, but for now this is fine. Just to get the city started. Thank you all for watching.